I just picked up a nice little radio there today uh, for 10 bucks. It's a Marine um, 25 watt, 1 watt FM Marine radio, VHF. It's a Jefferson model 1025 VHF FM. It uh, comes equipped with only five channels installed. It is volume squelch selection between 25 1 watt and has weather to select weather and weather 1 or 2. That's the front of the unit. And then the back, or the rear end of it. Let's turn this volume down a bit. Or better yet, turn off. <laughs> So this is the rear end of the radio. Of course you got your power, you got an antenna connector, remote microphone, and a remote external speaker. And again, FCC data, 1025, Array Jefferson, division of uh, Jetronic Industries Incorporated, complies with, with parts 15, 81, and 83 of the FCC rules. Serial number 03000459, made in Japan. I also got a number here. It's a label or something used to be there. Looks like B or 803821, something rudder. So, let's take a look at the inside of the radio. The radio is crystal controlled, as you can see. It has a separate receive transmit. I'm not sure at this time which is which, but the uh, RF transistors, which is on this side here. Tabby, do you mind not doing that? You just want to be on camera, don't you? Tabby, you just want to be on camera, don't you? Yeah, that's what I figured. So yeah, so we got the RF transistors here, which should in theory make this side here the transmitter, this side here the receiver. So transmit crystals, receive crystals. And uh, as you can see, you have five receive crystals and five transmit crystals as well as there is two more crystals right there for receive for weather so uh, just looking at the board and you know the way the construction is on this it looks a lot like the uh, the radios that had the uh, O2A PLL in them the old CB radios at the O2A PLL. It's got the same type design, you know, sort of the way the board is constructed. The print on it. Looks like they almost use the same type capacitors. You know? It looks an awful lot like the type of design that would be in those old 2A type radios. Like the old Midland, Midland type of uh, CB base stations and mobiles. They had the same type of printed circuit board. Not the same design, but the same, you know, type, the way it's coloring. Where you got the beige, the beige and the green down there. Looks an awful lot like it. <laughs> but uh, you got a big old speaker. Should be good for a couple watts, two or three watts easy. Then you got your uh, channel selector, your volume on and off, you got your squelch control, a bunch of switches on the side, um, crystal filter there, a couple transistors here. I'm assuming these would probably be the audio output, audio transistors. I'm assuming. Would say and these would be if I can see them. Of course, they're 
sit in the opposite direction where you can't see them. They're even common to the CB type radios there as well, so <laughs> there's a lot of similarities. There's the components and the way the boards are laid out. So then you got the three transistors. Just taking a educated guess. Pre-driver, driver, and final. So you got a 2N6094, 2N6095, and a 2N6096. So I'm assuming pre-driver, driver, final. That's my educated guess. <laughs> and the uh, radio is receiving just fine. I just tried it on our weather channel and it's picking up the weather band easy. No problem whatsoever. Um, found this kind of different. You had a diode put here. It's supposed to be for protection I would think. But uh, this side of diode was never soldered to the board. It's like they forgot to do that. Interesting. But, uh, yeah. So I got this radio for 10 bucks. She's a 4 pin. I got the radio for 10 whopping dollars. And that is even with a microphone. The original microphone at that. So, I can't complain. Microphone alone is worth that. <laughs> so the radio would actually is actually a bonus. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I haven't been posting very much lately, but uh, yeah, I haven't really got a lot to say, I guess. But uh, I'll see if see if I can change that around for you and get some more videos up. I know you want to see more, so I'll see what we can do for you. So, let's turn her over. Not bad. Not even an antenna connected to it. So, that's not the receiver on it, that's for sure. That's the Ray Jefferson Model 1025 HFFM. Thanks for watching, boys.